Hi everyone, it's Eric Goins from Automate Intelligently here. Uh, I have another video about using Google's Distance Matrix API. This is one of the most commonly asked API questions we get because a lot of people are looking for dynamic um, distance information for delivery apps, restaurant apps, um, you know, finding user locations, how far things are away from you. It is very, very helpful. And while Adalo doesn't have native GPS integration yet, we can still rely on hard uh, coded addresses and we can use those to find the distance between two things as well as the uh, delivery time or the, the travel time. In this example, what we're using is we have a user. Let's just go to our user. They have an address, okay? And I've hard-coded the pickup address here, but this would probably be dynamic for based off of, um, you know, where it could be where the user is right now. If they're traveling somewhere, you could uh, change the drop-off address. But in this case, it's probably going to be the business where they are starting. Um, and then the drop-off address is the user's home address. And what we do very simply for this example is uh, we're just going to create an order. We are going to call our Google Maps matrix API here uh, with a custom action, create the order, and we'll go to the order page and see the outcomes from this. So let's go into our app. Um, I am already signed in as the user, um, so my address is already logged in there. And once this loads, you can see th this is the pickup address, again, hard-coded, the drop-off address. For those of you that are American, that is the White House. Neither of these are my addresses. Um, and let's create that order and see the information that comes up with that. Okay, so again, these remain the same. We can see the distance between these two. Uh, we can see the estimated delivery time and a delivery fee that I've calculated. Let's take a look at uh, this response. So first, um, we get our distance back in meters. So I've just taken that distance, multiplied that by this number to take that meters to miles. We get our t estimated time, travel time in seconds. So what I've done is I've taken that and I've just divided it by 60 to give us minutes. And I've and I've also uh, created a delivery fee here. So that's the order distance, um, and that's, it comes out to be $2 per mile. And of course, you could figure out your own calculation for doing delivery distance or delivery fees based off of time. It could be $1 per minute, or it could be um, you know, 30 cents a mile, $1 per minute. You can come up with all kinds of dynamic pricing for that. Doing this is actually very, very easy. Um, it, it is not a complicated process, but what you're going to do, let's just go here first, is go to um, the Google Maps uh, Distance Matrix API page. All of the information is here. You're going to just come down to the bottom and um, somewhere down here is, let's find a good URL to take. Probably not that one. We don't want anything too difficult. We don't, you can add, there's a lot of customization to this. So you can say like, if somebody's walking, driving, you can do bicycling, uh, taking into account traffic. Um, I'm not seeing it on here, but you can find it on here. It's not difficult to find. And basically you're going to come up with something like this. They have the addresses preloaded in here um in uh in the url but what you're going to do is just take out the origin address this is the starting address that's going to be dynamic take out the destination address this is going to be dynamic and then you put in your uh key probably want to change the language and the mode uh actually because i am still using vice clean and french but uh, you can just take those out and use driving and english so i hope that helps it is a lot easier than it seems. Um, it's just using the custom action in Adalo. If you like content like this and more in-depth things about how to use Adalo and integrate these into your apps, 
Uh, we go through all of that in Nodalo, my Adalo course. Um, we show you how to build something like this, as well as the entire delivery app um, and how to integrate that. So if you're interested in more information, you can always check that out. If you have any questions, just leave them below in the comments section.